Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. On the last episode we headed deeper through the fifth arc and we did a couple battles as well as collected some CP. Now we're nearing the end of the long voyage inside the fifth arc which is considered the Lassie training ground. So after you've made the necessary preparations go ahead and examine the switch on the nearby elevator taking further down into the arc but stay on your toes for a surprise could be nasty's waiting anyway give me some slack here taking care of them enemies the elevator will come to a uh, stop shortly downwards and you'll be in the transept area of the fifth arc then go ahead and enter the two doors to the next corridor. Here you'll find another berserker come to life. So after taking out the Berserker, continue through the area, and I don't think there's any treasure to be gotten in this area. No, there's not. Alright, so after you take out the Berserker, continue towards the save point, and you'll pass it on your left. So continue to the next room, and like many before, it's a huge open area, and you can find a side path along one of the walls which will allow you to skip the enemies in this area but we don't want to do that because we need all the CP we can get and don't worry there is no treasure balls to be found on the side pass so just continue through the main path and take care of any enemies in your way 
Thanks. Alright, after you clear out the first set of enemies, continue along the path and more will jump up from below. Alright, after clearing the path, you'll have to dispatch of one more group of enemies before you can make your way to the doorway. So let's clear them out and throw them off the bridge. Let's go! Alright, after taking them out, continue through the doorway. And shortly ahead, you'll be at another four-way intersection. Go ahead and turn left to find a treasure ball in the corner. For two otherworldly bones. And then head back to the intersection and turn left. And continue to the next doorway. You'll have to take out a couple of Centaurians before we can advance. So 
this is going to be your last chance to get the missable enemy intel, the Centaurian Blade. Because these are the last two Berserkers. So wait for the Berserker to use Forge Blade. And when he uses his Forge Blade attack, he will summon the Centaurian Blade. So you can vibrate it for enemy intel. If you don't get it now, you won't be able to get it for the rest of the game. After clearing out the first one, go ahead and take out the second one, and you'll be home free. That takes care of the battles within the fifth arc. Now before proceeding any further, you're going to make sure you want to take some preparations for the upcoming boss battle, which will be pretty difficult. So at the save point on the left, let's go ahead and start preparing. First of all, let's spend up any CP that we've gathered. Which we won't be able to get very far. But at least it's something. start to see how long you work to build up CP and how quick it'll go in the stage 8 Crystarium. Alright, so now that we've spent our CP, now let's prepare our
Now let's prepare our battle team. So let's go ahead and swap out Saz for Fang. And let's set up some equipment. Alright, so let's go ahead and remove the titanium bangle and shaman's mark from Saz. And let's equip Fang with the tetradic crown, which will cast protect, shell, veal, and vigilance the first time HP is low. And secondly, let's equip the titanium bangle. Lightning should get HP raising accessories if you have more than one go ahead and put them on her I'm just gonna go with the gold bangle and the brawler's wristband for now and vanilla get the titanium bangle and the shaman's mark and fang gets titanium bangle and tetric crown now don't worry about setting up any paradigms because no matter what paradigms you have set up they're gonna be erased at the start of the next battle so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start the next battle and then you're gonna immediately press start and then select to retry it and then whenever you retry it you'll be able to reset up your paradigms for battle all right so that's going to take care of this episode of let's play final fantasy 13. i'll see you guys next time where we head out of the fifth arc and prepare for the next boss battle